Hi, this is Emily the Audi Nerd, and welcome to another episode of Head to Head. Tonight, we're going to be comparing a 2022 Audi SQ8 and a 2022 Audi RSQ8. These vehicles get cross shopped a lot, and so no one has been able to answer what the real differences are. So let's take a look. The first thing that we're going to be comparing is the base price of the two vehicles. Most of the time when I do a head to head comparison, I compare each package. However, it is an RS vehicle. The RSQ8 has very specific packages that are only available on RS cars, and there isn't the normal tiered premium, premium plus, and prestige available for the RSQ8. So we're going to be comparing the base prices. Base price on the Audi SQ8 is $94,695. The base price of the RSQ8 is $121,095. The difference between the two is $24,600. So now, let's take a look and see what those actual differences are. As I mentioned earlier, the Audi RSQ8 and the SQ8 get cross-shopped all the time because they're both basically just the hot rod version of the Q8. They both have Audi's legendary 4-liter V8 twin-turbo engine, but they are very different flavors. The SQ8 has 500 horsepower with 568 foot-pound of torque. The RSQ8, on the other hand, has 591 horsepower with 590 foot-pound of torque and is a whole half a second faster than the SQ8 to, from 0 to 60. The RSQ8 and the SQ8 have the same body. There's no difference there. However, if you come in a little bit closer, we'll actually take a look where it's a really easy way to tell the two apart. So the RSQ8 has the really aggressive, very wide, and a great presence on this honeycomb grill. And it also has the heritage vents up along here, which are fully functional that vent into the engine bay. The RSQ8 has an option for the black optics package and the carbon optics package. But on the RSQ8, you get the black rings and badges part of the black optics package. Now moving on to the SQ8, just turning a little bit over this way, you notice it has the normal slatted grille, and this one is optional with the black optics package. However, notice it's got the silver rings and badges, because that is not a part of the black optics package on this car. Now I'm going to talk about the differences that come in the two vehicles and what things come standard on the RSQ8 and are optional on the SQ8. First of all, they both have the air ride suspension standard, and you notice they are both sitting nice and low compared to a vehicle with springs on it. However, if you look down at them, you can definitely tell the RSQ8 has a way better stance and sits a little bit lower. And not only does it sit a little bit lower, it is optimally tuned for RS driving. It has a whole different mode and on the window sticker it even says adaptive air suspension RS tuned. While both RSQ8 and the SQ8 have huge brakes and wheels as options, the RSQ8 has 23 inch wheels as an option when you go with the black optics or carbon optics package, and it also has one of the largest brakes ever offered on an Audi, where the SQ8 by all means still has massive brakes on it, but you can see comparing side by side here, the RSQ8 ones are definitely bigger. An available package on the SQ8 is something called the S Sport Package. And with the S Sport Package, you get red brake calipers, active roll stabilization, and the rear sport differential. However, on the RSQ8, you get all of those features standard. And if you go with the carbon ceramic brakes, you can even have the option for blue brake calipers. Now on the back side of the two vehicles, there's a couple of things you're going to notice right away. First of all, is this huge carbon piece right here along the back, and the black rings and badges, which I had mentioned earlier. And if you come down a little bit from that, you can see this super aggressive rear diffuser with the honeycomb built into the bumper down here. And then, of course, since it's an RS vehicle, it's going to have the huge oval exhaust tips on the exhaust. Now moving, panning just a little bit this way. We'll look at the RSQ8. While there's still very, very small, tight honeycomb here, it is not nearly as large on the RSQ8. Now, you can see this diffuser back here. While still aggressive, it is not nearly as aggressive as the one on the RSQ8. And you notice it's got the quad tips, characteristic of all the S cars. Another thing that has a subtle difference between the two on the design features is these rear spoilers up here. So if we come in and look at the SQ8, you notice it's got this still, wow, very aggressive back here on the rear spoiler. You can see it from the side profile too. And you notice it's even more aggressive, comes out a little bit more and has these really cool lips along the back. Now before we put these two head to head for sound, I'm going to demonstrate on both of them the rear animation of the taillights. So now, we're going to take a look at the sound of the exhaust on the RSQ8 versus the SQ8 and let me know which one you prefer in the comments.
so slightly one difference on the interior of the SQ8 versus the RSQ8. It is on the seat. While the seats themselves are the same, the actual pattern on the seat is the only difference. Now taking a look at the RSQ8, coming a little closer, and we can see this one was optioned with the red stitch, which you can see, and it also has the honeycomb design on all of the RS cars. They all get the honeycomb design on the seats. A feature that's unique to the RS vehicles is you get the RS1 and RS2 mode, which are completely customizable. It takes the place of the individual mode, and you can choose however you want them set up. You can choose between your different drive, suspension, steering, engine sound, and the Quattro with sport differential. But the cool part about that is it's not just these two little icons right here. If you go all the way over the steering wheel, it has its own dedicated button, which will flip you between dynamic, RS1, and RS2 mode. It's called the RS runway design, and it looks pretty dang cool when you start the car. There are a couple Easter eggs that I do want to show you. So if you come in a little bit closer this way, the vehicle, which you can see right here, it has RS in the grill and it does come with a couple other unique options. So going into here, you have your full RS monitor, which gives you the engine oil temperature, sport differential temperature, which you can see back there. You can click on it for some more information or slide to the side for the G meter. Here's your tire pressure monitoring, but as we're sitting still, it doesn't have any information for us here. And your incline meter, which can be found on the SQ8 or most vehicles with the air ride suspension as well. Thanks for watching this episode of Head to Head. Let me know in the comments which vehicle you prefer, and I look forward to making something else for you. If you have any other suggestions of vehicles you'd like to see head to head, leave those in the comments too. Thanks for watching.